Hey everyone and welcome back to a new episode of the New Byte News. Uh, I, I titled this episode um, House Has Troubles Always um, because I'm having trouble with stuff. And today is actually a quite good thing that I just want to like show around and let you know about because uh, as we previously talked about, Epic does their own store now. And Discord already was also mixing along with that group of new people that have games on their store. And yeah, Discord, in case you don't know, it's like a chatting software. It's a mix between TeamSpeak and Skype, where you can have direct uh, contact to people, but you can also join in on servers, have text messages, uh, like chat groups, but also voice chat channels like in TeamSpeak. And Discord can be used for free. And they apparently are now going along in the new plant next to Discord Nitro, which is one way how users can pay up to get like accelerated access, better streaming quality for friends and all that. And now they're also selling games on their storefront, which will also uh, enable them to get more money in for the project because on, on its own, Discord is free, free to use. And it's fantastic. I mean, most of you already know about that. So... Let's just jump right into the actual news about it. And the news that is here right now is actually Discord Store will also publish games and the revenue split is even better than what Epic is proposing. Hence, talking about a 90 to 10 split. 90% of the sale going to the developer and 10% only going to Discord, which is a very sharp contrast to compared to what Steam is doing right now, because Steam is by standard always giving only 70% to the developer and 30% are taken to Steam. Plus additional costs that are coming towards, um, uh, for example, licensing of game engines and all that, which are also going away from the 70% of the developer's revenue. Now Discord says, okay, well, how about we actually only take what we really, really need? And yeah, they say after some very good analysis. Turns out it does not cost 30% to distribute games in 2018. Referencing the 30% uh, the 30% cut valve tax on the sale of every game. After doing some research, we discovered that we can build amazing developer tools, run them and give developers the majority of the revenue share. Starting in 2019, developers will be able to self-publish the, on the Discord store and enjoy a 90% revenue share compared to Steam's 70% and Epic's 88%. The remaining 10% covers our operating costs and we'll explore lowering it by optimizing our tech and making things more efficient, Discord explains. And yeah, earlier this year, as I say here on the BG247 article, um, they have even exclusive titles, which are... You can see right now, let's actually open up Discord. And there it is. You know, this is the uh, kind of setup that I'm using. By the way, join our The New Byte Discord server. You can very easily find it on there, thenewbyte.com slash Discord, which is a link which is on our website, which will direct you back to our actual Discord invitation, and then you'll be right on our server. So on, you can actually go on the store here and see, oh, interesting, there are actually games here. Like, for example, Minion Masters, Descenders, which is really great. I played that already. There's a video on the channel here and so many more. And yeah, apparently there are also more games coming out to the Discord store. Hopefully, <laughs> with that guaranteed very high sales uh, split for the developers, it seems like there's almost no reason why not more will go there. Does this mean that we'll be exclusive? Hopefully not. I mean, there is nothing said about uh, exclusivity here, but I can imagine that some of the people say, uh, yeah, actually, we want to have this game exclusive for us so we can make it like advertisement. Maybe there will be like year-long exclusivities, which we've seen so far on most places. So they say, hey, you can go to other stores, but this one is like um, reserved for a year, maybe. This is nothing that they said about in the block here, in the official block. It's only about, hey, we actually making better splits. And uh, the link, of course, of that will also be in the video description down below if you want to speak and read it to yourself here. Oh, wow, nearly four years later, over 200 million people have used Discord to chat and play games with their friends. 
Interesting. Yeah, the original article is this whole thing that's very, very, very cool. And just as a reminder, again, here uh, a thing is actually that, uh, for example, if you have an Unreal Engine 4 game, the 10% are not the only thing that you have to give away from your cut. So the rest of the 9% will also be <laughs> seeing a split, as you can see here on the official Epic Store chart. Um, as actually a 5% cut of the sales that also need to go to Unreal Engine or Epic in that sense. And uh, that will also go down from the 9%, which is then after consideration, less than what would you get on the Epic Game Store. So if you have an Unreal Engine game that you want to host on the Epic Store, it will only take 12% uh, costs from the sales that goes to Epic directly, but no additional fee just for the engine alone. So you could say, okay, apparently there's also some benefit there, but of course Unreal Engine 4 is not the only game engine, there's so many more, and uh, clearly like checking out options, and especially having options that are this good for developers, especially indie developers, of course, is really, really good. And looking uh, for forward towards 2019. I can just really hope that this will have a tremendous impact on the market and where games will be sold. By the way, uh, just a note, did you also notice that Twitch on its own is not selling games anymore? They do, however, still have the games in a Twitch Prime thing, but they are not having um, their buy games now under the um, Twitch streamers option. So it used to be like if you are seeing a uh, streamer playing a game, for example, let's say Destiny 2 or something, uh, there is also a direct link underneath that streaming window where you could go through Amazon, I think, which is of course because um, Twitch is now owned by Amazon for a few years, I think, even. And they allowed to have um, a revenue split. So if you go down and watch a streamer buy a game through this person's sort of buy button, they get a revenue kickback and uh, also Twitch will get their part of that sale. Um, this is actually turned off now. So just as a side note, this is how sometimes new things can come in and actually go away again. And the idea is, my goal was to provide viewers with a way to easily support streamers by purchasing games and in-game items directly from Twitch. We found that this feature as implemented did not provide most streamers with significant additional revenue. We have discontinued this feature to invest in other ways to help viewers obtain games and in-game items directly on Twitch while supporting streamers including through extensions on Twitch like Amazon Blacksmith, which allows viewers to support streamers through purchases of games and other items. So there you go. Uh, just besides Discord doing their thing, also Twitch is changing stuff around. Actually, this one's going away. So in a way, this mini shop is going away from Twitch, but lots of new ways are opening up again. And this is just one way how to sell games. And yeah, it was definitely interesting. I hope you can't hear the noise that's happening right now outside because actually the trash is gonna be taken away. So uh, thank you guys as always for watching. I hope you like this video, leave a like and a comment and tell me what do you think about this. Let's have a little discussion in the comments down below. What do you want to have your games? Do you want to all have it in one place? Are you one of the people that still like cling towards Steam or do you also think maybe like me, how more diverse options are given uh, developers even better ideas how to bring out the games. Oh my gosh, it's getting louder. So, so I'll just stop it here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Gosh, that is loud.